Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to create a CSV file. And in this example, I will use Microsoft Excel to create my CSV file. So let's go to Microsoft Excel. In the first row of your Excel spreadsheet, type the header field. The header field is very crucial or important part of your CSV file and this will tell the plugin what information you want to upload in your e-commerce website. Some of the example of header field would be found in the main page of the WP e-commerce CSV importer plugin. So let's check out the main page of the plugin. In the main page, you will see the SKU, product name, product description, price, and so on. And these are the examples of the header field. And make sure you follow the correct capitalization because the plugin will check or validate your header field before you will be able to upload your CSV file. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and type our header field in the very first row of our CSV file. Example, SKU. Category ID, SKU. name and so on here I copy and paste of some of the product information that I want to upload and please make a note on the thumbnail header I will going to use this in the next video on how to upload a thumbnail image into your web server. Our CSV file is ready and let's save it by pressing F5 or Control F Control S Control S. Shortcut to save our file. Then make sure it's CSV file, comma delimited, then click yes. And then let's go back to our main dashboard. Click the choose file button. Select our CSV file. Mine is testing, so I'm gonna click on that. And then click the validate header button to check whether if we make a typo in our header field. have no errors found here and if you have encountered an error please go back to your uh, spreadsheet or CSV file and make sure you follow the instruction on how to write the header field it's over here please do check here and before I click the import now button, I want you to show some help on how to know your category ID. Beside this import now button, you will see a drop down. Click on that, and this will list all your category name and corresponding category ID. This number is the category ID that you are going to use in your category ID header field in your CSV file. So mine is 1, category ID is 1, and I have here 1 for t-shirt. Now I'm going to click the import button now, or the import now button, 
to import the CSV file to my e-commerce website. It says eight records affected. Let's go back to the CSV file. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight records. Let's go back to the main dashboard. Then let, let's visit our e commerce website to check if we really imported the CSV file. This is my website. And as you can see, I don't have any uh, products yet. And I'm going to refresh the page by pressing F5. And there you go. We successfully uploaded our product to our e commerce website. And in the next video, I will show you how to upload the thumbnail image into your web server without using the FTP or FTP program. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.